Today we're taking a look at the Air Jordan 8 playoffs. Welcome back to Kicks on Kicks, my channel where I review sneakers. And today we got a look at the Air Jordan 8 playoffs courtesy of the homies in the description down below. So I'm gonna give you a look at this shoe, talk about the packaging, uh, some legit checking indicators that you can look out for, and then we'll, uh, we'll get on up out of here. So let's go ahead and get started from the bottom up with the outsole. Now this the standard Air Jordan 8 outsole. Every Air Jordan 8 looks a little bit different, but my favorite feature's gotta be this sort of shank plate, which isn't really a shank plate, but the color and the pattern on it. This is really dope, like a little mosaic. This just screams 90s to me. Air Jordan 8 debuted in 1993. Cool stuff. Um, other than that, we've got the sort of circular traction pods that we first saw on the Jordan 6, but we've seen them on 7s and 8s. Uh, but we got these little circular pods, so that's cool. Yellow Jumpman, red hits, blue hits, and black, of course. All that's there. Let's move up to the midsole where we've got a sort of glittery polyurethane midsole. I like that a lot. It's like gray and shimmery um, to go with the sort of darker gray toward the outsole. So kind of two-tone. Like it. Like it a lot. And of course... Just above that midsole, we'll take a look at this little plate here. A little artistic, a little paint splatter there. We've got the red and black on white plastic. But now let's move on to the upper where we've got a sort of two-tone, sort of contrasty situation. On this upper, on your sort of overlay panels, we've got these nice dark black nubuck straps. But then uh, all that is on like a sort of stamped nubuck that's got like the rough, leather texture built into it almost like a basketball texture but a cool little tumbled new buck if we want to call it that really interesting um look, looking back at those straps though of course we see that 23 embroidered right there on the cross straps really cool definitely reminds me of the nike air raid which i believe was also designed by tinker as was this air jordan 8 so really really dope stuff taking a look at your tongue well Let's look, keep looking at the straps. You see the little buckles there. We got Air Jordan on the back strap. Of course, you can unstrap these and wear them however you'd like. Most of the time when I've seen people wear these, they got the straps kind of hooked up like a little arc type situation, arch situation. Inter anyways, interesting stuff. On the tongue, we got this nice little chenille patch with the red jump man. And then on the inside, we got a sort of neoprene liner like you saw on the Jordan 7s. Got the same little inner booty on the eights uh, with a little like 90s tribal looking pattern in there. Nice little pop of color on an otherwise really pretty basic shoe. Like this, like this a lot. Um, on the back, I do like this sort of molded structure we get here as well. All in all, just a dope shoe. Not really much to write home about, but I don't know. Never been a huge fan of Jordan 8s. Uh, only two colors of Jordan 8s I've ever really, really wanted were the Aquas, which I think are the best. The Aqua 8s, in my opinion, the best Jordan 8. Um, and then the Chromes, which are not an original colorway, but they came out in like 05 and then again in 2015. I don't have either pair of the Chrome 8s. I need the Chrome 8s in my life. But these, these would probably come in third for me. I'm not a big fan of the Bugs Buddies, but... I like these. These are nice. So that's that. Um, all that said, I guess we can just throw them off foot. But first, give you a quick look at the packaging on these. These came in the standard Air Jordan 8 box. Nothing really to write home about. Black top, gray bottom. And let's see. Whoops. Air Jordan 8 retro, black, true red, and white. Got mine in a size nine because I wear a size nine thanks to the homies at who sent these to me? I don't know. It's in the description. I want to say these came from Cop Shoe though. Um, and then, yeah, Cop Shoe. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Let's get a grab a black light, see if we can find any legit checking indicators. All right. So, scrutinizing these under the black light. Not a lot that stands out. I don't see like any crazy well there are a, there's a couple of like little pin mark like outlines right here and actually now that i've seen it on the uh black light 
you can see it really faintly if you just look to the naked eye. So that's something to look out for. Little outlines where the overlays meet the uh, regular old mid panels. Other than that, there are also guidelines right on this, the back of this inner booty. So you can see that, and that's probably not supposed to be there. But other than that, man, the shape of this shoe looks really good. Even the shape of the toe box on my pair looks like retail. A lot of people are getting like these, like these big bubbly toe boxes. That's not what this one looks like. So I don't know, man. With these, it's probably best to just go ahead and grab your black lights and test them the old fashioned way. Other than that, man, a dope sneaker. I'm going to go ahead and throw them on foot so you can see what that looks like. And I'll see you on another review real soon. Peace.